SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. You should save your graphic content in this format because it is light and resolution independent. This means that graphics can be scaled to any dimension without affecting the resolution or page load, and you can do this inside Adobe Muse. So in this tutorial, we're going, I'm going to show you how to use, how to save your graphic content into SVG using Adobe Illustrator. So as an example, I downloaded this round flat icons from FreePick. And here I'm going to show you how to do it. So there are two ways now to do it. I have my the latest version of Adobe Illustrator, which is Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. So um, the new a new the new update is that you can you can export the assets really really fast. But in the older versions versions you have to do it another way, but it's still very very easy. So in the 2017, what you have to do is select the um, in this case I'm going to select the icon. First of all, I'm going to ungroup this and I'm just going to select one icon. So I'm going to open the asset export. So the only thing that I have to do is drag the icon here. I'm going to choose another one. Let's choose this one and this one here. So here in the options, you have to choose the format. So I have here SVG and just click on export. Here's where you have to choose your, your the, the, the location. So just choose it and, okay, just replace that one. And that's very, very easy. That's how you do it. In older versions, the only thing you have to do is click on the whole icon you want to export and right button, right button and export selection. So same thing, here will appear all the assets and then just choose the one that you want. Here you have to choose the location and here's where you have to choose the format. So it's the same, same, exact same thing. So just click on export and that's it. So once it's exported, which is done very, very fast, just go to Adobe Muse. So I have my assets here in the desktop. So I'm going to choose them, three of them, and I'm going to drag it into Adobe Muse. See when you drag elements, you'll find like the number of elements you have here. So I'm going to start clicking so it will drop on, on, on Muse, on the workspace. And the good thing is that even I can click and even scale it and make it bigger. So take a while to see, it, has, it hasn't lose, lost its resolution. And you click here again. So remember, you can scale it, make it smaller and it won't affect the resolution. So this is the reason why you should start using SVG in Adobe Muse.